a 22 kilogram vehicle and it is traveling at 94 kilometers per hour but we're going to use meters per second they've already converted it for you which is really nice traveling at 26 meters per second can be stopped in 21 seconds by gently applying the brakes then they say it can be stopped in 3.8 seconds if the driver slams on the brakes and then in 0.22 less than a second if it hits a concrete wall what average force is exerted on the vehicle when the driver gently applies the brakes? So let's, um, let's talk about the things that we know. We have a mass, and it's equal to 2,200 kilograms okay, of 26 meters per second. And then we'll just do the one with the gently applying the brakes. And then we'll do the rest in a different slide so we can fit it all. And then, um, and so we're going to do the time for gently applying the brakes, and that's going to be 21 seconds. Okay. Um, we're going to have a formula. Okay. We have um, a couple formulas that we've learned. We know P or momentum is equal to mass times velocity. And then we have that. Um, impulse momentum theorem saying that the impulse is equal to the final momentum minus the initial <coughs> so let's see what we've got here um, we need, first thing we need to do is we need to find our initial momentum and our final initial momentum so that'll be the first thing we do is find our initial And it's in kilograms times meters per second. I'll try and make this. Maybe that looks a little more like a multiply for you guys. So our initial is equal to our mass times our initial velocity. Okay, and that's just going to be... 2200 times our initial speed, which was 26. Okay, and then we'll just multiply those guys together. And we'll get a really big number, and that's okay. With our weird units, kilograms times meters per second. Okay. Now that we've found that, we need to find our final momentum. And that's going to be momentum with an F. It's, again, it's going to have those weird units. And so we'll do our final mass times our final velocity. And um, Remember, we're stopped at the end, right? Because the cars are stopped moving. Um, and so his final velocity is zero, which anything multiplied by zero is zero. So we're going to get a final momentum of zero. Okay? So now that we've got that, we can use our impulse momentum theorem. And I'm going to switch to this other um, side, <clears throat> just so um, just so um, I'm going to move this up a little bit if I can. Actually, I guess I <clears throat> And then we've got a little bit of space right here. So um, we'll see if we can fit it. So we're going to use our impulse momentum theorem. Okay, I'm going to use a different color for you guys. So we'll have our force is equal to, our momentum is equal to our final minus our initial. Okay, so we can take both sides, divide them by the change in time. And then we can go ahead and plug in our numbers, and that'll give us our force. 
So we'll have our final momentum, which is zero, minus our initial, which is 57, 200 kilograms, meters per second, and we'll divide by our time. So you're going to get um, a negative number, that's a K. And it'll be in Newtons because we're doing a force. Okay, so this is how you can find the force um, exerted on the driver when he's just um, he's just braking gently. Okay, so um, a couple things you'll want to keep on your paper because we'll need them later. This is 57,200 and this zero, and then of course your mass up here. So let's go to the next.